and thank you for watching this Royal Crown presentation. We are very excited to announce this new program called Royal Vision. Royal Vision is a program to help you decide the best size cupola for your application. So let's get started. From your web browser, go visit our website at www.royalcrown.com. And from our website, on the second navigation bar at the top of the page, where it says Cupola Sizing Royal Vision, go ahead and click on that. And that opens our Cupola Sizing page. So on the left side of the Cupola Sizing page, we have our standard rule of thumb of an inch and a quarter of Cupola to one foot of building length. So in this little diagram here, you have a 24-foot long roof line. If you multiply that times 1.25, the recommended cupola size is 30 inches. Now that works for a lot of applications. However, there are certain applications where that rule of thumb just doesn't quite work. And that was the reason we created Royal Vision. So let's get started with Royal Vision. Uh, you can either click on this box here or click on this link below to open Royal Vision. So now that we've got Royal Vision open, I'm going to go over the basics of the operation. So on the top left side of your screen, you have three boxes where it says length, width, and wall height. So this is where you would enter the dimensions of your building that you're trying to uh, apply cupolas to. So, and then the next screen, you have your roof pitch. You would match up, uh, choose the correct roof pitch to match up to yours. And then the uh, buttons below here, I'll get, uh, I'll go over those in just a minute here during our demonstration. So, let's get started with a demonstration. Let's say you have a building that's 80 foot long and about 40 feet wide. So. Up top here at the length, you go ahead and put in your 80, go ahead and your width, and go ahead and put in 40. And uh, let's choose a wall height of 14 feet. With this size of a building, uh, I'm going to choose 14 foot wall height. And uh, the roof pitch, uh, I'm going to choose an 812. This would be closest to my application. So now we've chosen our building size uh, and roof pitch, now we move on to our cupola sizing. So by default, we have chosen two 42-inch cupolas. Well, on some longer buildings, uh, you know, two cupolas uh, may be the correct uh, ones you want to use, but in this application, I'm going to choose three cupolas. Uh, I personally like three cupolas on longer buildings, and uh, I'm going to choose the cupolas to be 36 inches. However, I want the center cupola to be a little bit larger. So that's what this next button here is, uh, where it says center size. Uh, I'm going to choose the center one to be 48. I like if the center one's a few sizes larger. So now that I've chosen the end cupolas to be 36 inches, uh, and I've chosen the center cupola to be 48. We're almost finished, but I'm not quite sure if I'm satisfied with how the cupolas are distributed on the building. So that's your last box here where it says distribution. It's default set at standard. That works for a lot of applications. But in this application, uh, I think if I chose the end-to-end, -end, that brings the cupolas a little bit closer to the end. I think that looks uh, about perfect for this application. Uh, you can also do an even uh, distribution, which uh, actually creates an even spacing from your end and your center. But like I said, on this application, I think the uh, end to end is the best one. So one thing I did miss up above here is your cupola style. We currently have two cupola styles uh, chosen. Uh, one is the Bethany, which is you know an average to a little bit uh, taller cupola. 
and then we have the Hamlin, which is a little bit of a shorter cupola. So let's say we had this same building size, but let's say our roof pitch was a 412, which is a pretty common uh, roof pitch for some of your general outbuildings, barns, that type of thing. So now that we have our roof pitch at 412 and our wall height might be at 12, so we have a building that's a little bit shorter, uh, a shorter cupola may look a little bit better on there. So now that we've chosen our Hamlin, that uh, tends to look a little bit better with that size uh, barn with that roof pitch. Uh, another thing you may have noticed that I've been doing is I've been scrolling the building. You can actually view this building from most any direction. And you can do that by click and drag. You just take your mouse, you click and drag. Uh, you can also move those directions by these uh, buttons on the bottom here. Here we have our home screen or our home button. And that takes you to the uh, original building view. And then you have your left, right, and you have your up down arrows which do you know take the place of scrolling uh or click and drag rather uh and then you have your zoom in zoom out uh buttons if you want to come in a little bit closer to your building so those are the basic uh instructions for using roll vision we encourage you to go ahead and play around with it and get comfortable with roll vision in choosing the correct size cupola for your application. If you have any questions or input, visit our website by going to our Contact Us page. You can send us an email or contact us directly by phone. We hope you've enjoyed, and thanks for watching this Royal Crown presentation.